Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to represent entire objects using the list box control. And you can do this uh, no problem by default because the list box control simply calls the two string method of the object to get its text and it actually accepts entire objects not just strings. So let's first create an object that we want to um, use in our list view. So I'm going to add a class going to be a card class. I'm going to give it some auto implementing get set accessors here. So first top speed. A bool is sedan. And a color. Body color. Okay, let's add a uh, list box here. And create some cars in our constructor. So car, my car is equal to new car and set some properties. My car body color is equal to color.black. I would always want a black car. It's easy to keep clean. Uh, is sedan is equal to false my car dot top speed is equal to 250 okay we're also going to need a name property aren't we uh, this the name property is what we want to actually draw to the list box or be displayed at the, on the list box so public string name So we're going to do the same thing for a second car. Call this one mom's car instead. And call it mom's junker as the name. It's going to be a red car. This is a sedan. It's going to be a true. Its top speed is going to be 200 kilometers per hour. And you might want to add another one in there. Let's do that and my brother's car if I had a brother it's just going to have top speed of 400 maybe be yellow a junker car that can travel 400 kilometers per hour okay so we want to add these objects to our list box which is fairly easy list box items dot add we're going to first add my car. So when you add items, you're basically adding in an item of type object. You can add whatever you want. As long as the two string method has been implemented. So here's pro car. Now that we have all of our cars added to the list box, we can just start it up. And you'll notice that it just says Windows Forms application car. So it's just going to return the type name. So if you don't implement your two string method on your car type, it's just going to return the type name every time. So we're going to do that. We're going to open up our car class again and override the two string method. So protected override two string. And we're going to return the name of the car. And that's what we want to be displayed in the list view. So name, that's it. So now when we start it up, We've got Brian's Ride, Mom's Junker, and Bro Junker. Now I'm going to depict actually getting information from the objects that's um, been selected. So we're going to add some labels here. This one's our top speed label. I'm going to do my um, label trick here using the tag. And label top speed. We're going to do the same thing for sedan and color. Label color
is Sudan. Okay, now every time we select an object in the list view, we want to display the object's properties, uh, everything except for the name down here. So we're going to uh, hook to the selected index changed event, and we are going to display our information from our cars. So first, you might want to get your car. Uh, just do one cast. So car list box selected item. Label color dot text is equal to car uh, body color to string labels sedan dot text is equal to car is sedan to string okay let's check it out. So I'm going to select Brian's ride, my ride, uh, oops, sorry, forgot to add the tag in there. I do this a lot with my labels, so you're not hard coding text. not like the most efficient thing to do really. Okay, try this again. So I'm going to select Brian's ride. Brian's ride has a top speed to 250. It's black and it is not a sedan. Mom's junker has a top speed of 200 and it's red and it's a sedan. And my bro's junker travels 400 kilometers per hour. It's yellow and it's a sedan as well. If you would like, you can display more information on the um, list box. So we just go back to the um, two string method. And we could just say, I don't know, with a top speed of, and display our top speed as well. So Brian's ride with a top speed of 250 and so forth. And that's all there is to it. See you later.